Hello, my name is Wendy, and I will be your instructor on using Microsoft PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a program that you use to create presentations. A presentation consists of a number of slides. It pro projects a sequence of slides that tell a story to help you accomplish a task such as selling, educating, motivating, and conveying a message. In this section, you will learn how to create a presentation in a PowerPoint. You will learn how to add text, illustrations, audio, or video clip to your slides. So let's begin our introduction to the PowerPoint. Your new presentation begins with a cover page called Title Slide. The title slide contains two placeholders, one for the main title and the other for subtitle. From there, you can add new slides and change their layout using different placeholders. Placeholders that contain text, graphics, table, charts, or other elements of communicating your message. You can also add title and bullet text by typing directly into placeholders and can format the text using the font groups in the home tapes on the river. So let's see the video. How to add and editing text. First of all, Please start your PowerPoint on the computer. By default, you will see the title slide of your new presentation. With any text placeholder, just click inside it to add your text. Then, you can use the font group on the ribbon's home tape to change its appearance. Let's follow the steps. First, in the blank title slide, click in the title placeholder, type in your title. Drag through the text to select it. Click in the font group to make special effect on the text. You can also change the color using the font colors drop down arrow. You can also click in the subtitle placeholder to type your subtitle. You can copy and paste any picture or a logo if needed. And thank you for your listening. You can begin a new presentation using the sample template folders in Backstage View 
or the office.com online template. Along with the designs from the slides, some of the templates are for specific purpose, such as marketing purpose, proposal. Those templates may already have slides in them for you to revise. So how to add a slide in the presentation? The most basic two type of layout for a slide is the title slide and the title and content slide. The title and content slide layout was used to let you add bullet text to the slide or use one of the context icon to add a different type of element. For example, table, chart, clip arts, pictures, smart art, or media. You also can add and change bullets from the outline tape next to the slide tape in the left panel. So let's see the video. How to add a slide? In the presentation. Please follow the steps. First, from the home tab, click new slide. Click title and content layout. Type your title in the title placeholder. Note the content icon for table, chart, clip art, picture, smart art, and media. You can add any of these items instead of bullet text. Click the content placeholder to add bullet text or other element. Type your bullet into the content placeholder. Press Enter between each bullet. You can change the bullet style in a slide by selecting the bullet and using the bullet drop down arrow in the paragraph group of the home tab to choose another style. Click to open the outline tab. Place tab to enter a sub bullet under the last bullet.
You can also use the number list option next to bullet in a para paragraph group to change the bullet style into number style. If you want to change the layout of a slide, click Layout again and choose another layout. So thank you for your listening. How to rearrange your presentation? On the left window in your screen, is the slide thumbnail panel. You will see the slide in your presentation. You can easily rearrange your slide by drag and drop this slide. But in PowerPoint, the slide sorter view provides an even more valuable overview for you of your entire presentation by showing you slide as thumbnails and allowing you to view both their content, context, and titles. The slide sorter view can give you a better way to evaluate the flow of your message. And you can drag and drop your slide to different positions in the presentation in slide sorter view. So let's see the video. How to rearrange your presentation using slide thumbnails panel. Please follow the following sequence. First, you can drag and drop slides in the slide thumbnails panel. You can drag the border of the slide thumbnails panel to make the slide thumbnails larger. And then, how to rearrange your presentation using slide sorter view. First, please click slide sorter view to open the slide sorter view. Grab a slide using your left mouse button. Drag and drop the slide onto a new location in the presentation. The slide is now moved within the presentation. To go back, please click Normal View. You will return to the Normal View to work with individual slides. If you have slides in another presentation that you want to reuse, you can open both presentations and copy the slide from one slide thumbnail panel to the other. This will finish the job of rearranging your presentation. Thank you. Applying a theme for your slides is to make your presentation stand out or give it a more colorful. You should apply a proper theme from the ribbon's design tape. Each theme has its own 
coordinate set of fonts, colors, and effects. If we want to apply different themes to different slides, click Slide Sorter View and use your mouse to select individual slides. Use Control Click. Or a sequential slide, use Shift Click. With the size selected, you can choose a different themes for them. So let's see the video. Applying a theme for your slide. Please follow the following steps. First, create the design tab on a ribbon. Click the More drop-down arrow for Themes. Scroll through the Theme Gallery, which shows various built-in themes in the PowerPoint. Hover over a theme to see how it will look when you want apply it to your presentation and click a theme to apply it. The theme is applied to the entire presentation. When you change any elements in your slide, you can save that coordinated combination to reuse in other presentations by opening the theme gallery and choosing Save Current Theme. This will complete our process. Thank you. How to design your own layout for your slide? You can design your own layout for your slide using the Slide Masters. Slide Masters are like blueprints for different layout in your presentation. You can control the appearance of different elements. For example, when you change the title font color of the main masters that control all title and counter content slides, all slides with that layout are automatically changed. You can also use a slide master to add content such as a logo. To all the slides with the layout that the master controls. So now let's see the video. In order to design your own layout for your slide, please follow the following steps. First, on the ribbons view tape, click slide master. In Slide Master View, click to select the main master slide for title and content. Drag through the master title style to select it. In the font group for the ribbons home tab, open the font color drop down arrow and change the font color of the master title style. Click the Slide Master tab 
on the ribbon. Click close master view. As you can see, all slide with the layout layout of the master. You altered, you altered now reflects those changes. So this will complete on designing your own layout for your slide.